Style Wig Expert. Today I'm going to be doing a little video just explaining one of the ways that you can make your wig look a bit more natural when you're out and about. The way to do that, or one of the ways to do that, is by actually using makeup um, in the parting or on the lace of the wig to just help it blend in with your natural scalp. Obviously your scalp is a little bit lighter than your skin tone um, as it doesn't see as much sun. So um, having that sort of brighter um, scalp line on your wig will really help sort of make it look really natural and just like your own hair. I'm gonna sort of take you through step by step, show you what the wig looks like before we do the makeup and after and two different methods of applying the makeup. One quite quick and easy way and then one slightly more intense way to sort of make it more stand out and also to last a bit longer. So first things first, the wig I'm using today is the ZL Zephyr wig. It's sort of like a mid-length, obviously like balayaged blonde wig. Um, it has got a half lace front um, and of course the usual elastic band. Um, and then you've got your like little side clips and your bungee at the nape of the neck. So at first things first, I'm just going to um, pop this wig on and show you what it looks like before we do anything to it. So I now have this gorgeous wig on. Um, I actually really recently washed it and restyled it. Um, so if you want to see a video of me washing it, let me know. So the next step um, is just to sort of show you what's going on with the parting. You can see it's quite dark. And if you sort of think back to when I showed you my own natural parting, my own natural parting is quite light. So we're gonna start working on that um, and talk about ways to fix it. So what you're gonna need for this little tutorial is um, some powder makeup. Some people like to use cream, we prefer powder. Um, this is the Nip and Fab Contour um, Palette. Uh, the reason we like it is just because it's got lots of shades. So no matter what model we're using, um, you know, we can tailor, tailor something to everyone. And they're all quite sort of neutral. None of them are too pink or yellow. So like I said, you can sort of tailor it to everyone and their scalp shade. So I'm going to be using the lightest shade over here just because I am quite fair. Um, and I've also got my little, um, this is the ZL little brush and a spoolie at the end. So the brush I use for the makeup application and the spoolie I'll use to like sort of lay down any flyaways or my own baby hairs, things like that. So first things first, I'm going to take this wig off again. <laughs> have the wig off um, I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do so first you just need to locate the sort of transparent line um, where the parting of your wig is then you want to grab your makeup uh, and like I said I'm gonna take the lightest shade dip my little brush into it and just really simply you're just going to go over that line there so you're just gonna dust on I also almost make like a little T shape, you know, for that front bit of the lace. So it all blends nicely. And I just keep going in and brushing the makeup on, just in sort of little layers until I sort of get the build up that I want. Okay, so I've just done, I did about two or three layers of the powder um, and then popped the wig back on so I could show you. So you can see already it's just really lightened up that area and like even from the distance you can just tell it's this really like nice natural line. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a slightly different method to sort of make a bit more of an impact and it's also really good for longevity. So if you're planning on wearing the wig for longer periods of time, you know, in sunlight and at night time, um, it's a really good way to just sort of really make that parting pop and make it look so lovely and natural. So for this um, slightly stronger method, I suppose, um, once again, you're gonna need your makeup, your brush and hairspray. You can use sort of any stronghold hairspray you want. I prefer the um, Schwarzkopf um, got to be glued just because it's got more of a gel like texture and it means that it really grabs onto that makeup. So once again, I am just going to take the wig off. <laughs> So now I have the wig off again, I'm going to first grab my hairspray and I'm just gonna give it a really light dusting just on the inside of the wig. So just that much. And then I'm basically gonna repeat my steps from my first method and go in with the makeup on the brush and just start 
to paint it on. Really nice and easy and you can see already it's started to create a bit of line there. Another thing that you can do to sort of make it pop a little bit more is turn the wig around, you know, on the hair side. And uh, once again, just paint down that parting. So I'm going to repeat these steps about three, maybe four times just to get it really nice and bold. And then I will be back to show you. Just another quick tip as well. If you find that whilst you're putting makeup on this side, you get a little bit of the... Um, powder build up just flip your brush around and literally just dust it off of the hair just comb it through slightly and then it will remain on the lace you know in the parting but it will just take any makeup out of the hair so that you don't get a bit of a white cast okay so i am now all done with this parting um one way that i sort of gauge when i know that i'm done is um just by sort of how bright it looks with the wig off my head then i know that when it goes on it'll still remain nice and light so I'm gonna pop this back on and show you once more. So now I have the wig back on, I just want to show you a little close up of that. So you can see that there's not no major shadowing from my own hair um, and it just looks really lovely and natural um, and it all just sort of blends in really seamlessly. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed these tips and that they can be of use to you. Um, other than that, I would love to see any comments or suggestions for future videos. Um, so please let us know. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So have a lovely rest of your week, guys. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.